Um, you know, we got the best player in America on our team, so we're pretty thankful. Uh, we're pretty grateful. Uh, we wish we could have, you know, done the whole thing. We wish we could have done that, but um, we're not going to take away from what we did accomplish. We made it to a Final Four. We made it to the National Championship game. We beat South Carolina, something nobody else could do all year. Um, we're going we're gonna to sleep well because of those things. Coach, what was that red carpet walk like? What did you think? Up, yeah, so that was, it was, I mean, the, the red carpet was crazy. I mean, all those Hawkeye fans, I just, I mean, it overwhelms you almost with pride to be from such a great state that supports women's athletics like, like we do in Iowa, um, to be at a school at the University of Iowa that supports women's basketball. Um, it, it's, it's overwhelming. It really is. Do you have is. a sense of how the public rallied around this team? I think that was the first time, you know, I mean, obviously, we felt great in the arena when we beat South Carolina. There's a lot of Hawk fans here, and it looked like there might have even been more today. God, we just wish we could have given them the victory. Can you talk about what this moment means for women's sports and women's basketball as someone that has been in the game for so long? Yeah, I mean, it's grown so much. It's almost laughable to think about when I was playing or, you know, even when I started out, you know, coaching this game. Like, nobody cared about women's basketball. So to see how far it's gone – or far hearts come it, it's just um it's that's amazing and it's because we have great young women that are such good role models and they're you know they're they embrace the fans they embrace the kids and i think people feel personally attached to them um they play the game the right way coach what do you say to monica yeah that's tough um because those two women have meant so much to our program and you know, when you coach somebody for four and five years, you get to know them really well and you build relationships. And, and I mean, it, it's like a family. And so to not to think of the locker room next year without Monica and McKenna being there, um, it's almost it's almost too much right now to think about. Uh, I, I want to coach them again. I wish I could coach them again tomorrow. How special is it to be so loyal to you about the starting five of this program and how far they come here? In a day where the transfer portal and, you know, jump, 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 and, you know, the next best thing is to have five women that stayed together and believed in each other and instead of, you know, work through things instead of jumping to the next place. It shows you the type of people they are. How would you describe Caitlin's maturity and growth? I mean, she didn't take any bait out there. Obviously, she's answering these questions pretty Yeah. Pretty you know, it's, it's hard. That, that girl gets, you know, the best defender all the time she gets people talking to her all the time she gets people that you know want to tear her down and she doesn't go for it and i think that her growth especially this year has been outstanding has been outstanding that's why that technical foul i think hurts even more because i know how far she's come i know that that what wasn't any intent i have to watch it on film but there was no intent whatsoever for her to disrespect the game in any way and for her to get that i don't know not right. After that technical, that pushes her from three fouls to four. Yeah. How does that adjust your game plan as a coach? Completely. Out? I mean, we're playing handcuffed, right? I mean, we're playing with three people that have four fouls. We're playing with uh, Monica Sonano plays half a game today. She's the, one of the best shooters in America, and she plays 20 minutes. I mean, I just feel bad for my two seniors having to go out of this game without being able to be on the floor. Just a couple more questions. I'm going to think this season is redefined when people, you know, we've talked about this before, but when people see Iowa women's basketball, that you guys are, are in this upper echelon or in the mall, um, year in, year out. I hope that when people see women's basketball at Iowa, they think they're proud. Um, they're proud of the University of Iowa. They're proud of the product. Um, they want to be a part of it. Um, and there's room, you know, there's room to join along with us. So um, I just hope that they're really proud of, of where we've taken this program. Lisa, with as much as Caitlin's game has risen to the stratosphere, what do you think of the things she's going to work on in the next year, especially as motivating and conditioning? Yeah, I don't know. You know, I need to think about that a little bit, about what she needs to work on, what we want. You know, last summer we were going to try to add some post-ups to her game, and mm -hmm. it really didn't go the way we wanted it to. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm going to have to really um, reflect on that and kind of think of, you know, how I can help her, you know, grow her game even more. And that's, you know, uh, I got to sit down and figure that out. It's my responsibility. Big deficit there, but you came out swinging in the third quarter. 
Uh, what was the halftime like for you guys, and also what does it say about your team? You know, we kept believing at halftime. We honestly did, and we came out and got it to within seven points. I'm proud of the fight that these women had coming out there. Uh, they could have, you know, laid down, and they didn't. They just kept fighting, and I'm just so proud of them for that. 23 okay, years, why was this team special? Any th time you, you accomplish something that's never been accomplished, it's pretty special. Pretty special team. So, you know, we made it to the national championship game. That's something that's never happened in Iowa women's basketball history. We have a storied history. Um, we had the player of the year again. So a lot of great things to be, to be thankful for. We are genuinely blessed. We really are.